further, let's talk about the visibility criteria for number six. And uh, the result is if our number, if divisible, divisible by three and and divisible by two. So if our number is divisible by three and divisible by two, then our number is divisible by six. Let's prove it first. It's quite obvious result. Um, if our number is divisible by two and three, then it has um, a representation and our number n is equal to a times two times three. Um, this result is obvious, but if you don't understand it, further we will talk about um, prime number factorization and um, you will understand this. Any number is can be written as the multiplication of prime numbers. We will talk about prime numbers further. And in this case, if our number n is divisible by 3 and 2, we have to have such a representation. And if we rewrite our representation, this will be a times 6. And this kind of number, of course, is divisible by 6. Because it has a factor 6 and is divisible by 6. If we divide our number, we will have uh, just a without 6. Um, examples. Examples. First example is number 1224 is divisible by 6. First, we check, um, let's write A. Oh. Um, first, A, no, A is bad. For the for this case, um, it's divisible by two, obviously, because number four is even. That's why this number is divisible by two. Next, since one plus two plus two plus four is equal to nine and nine is divisible by three, and using previous result, our number is divisible by three. That's why, since it's divis this number is divisible by two and three, the answer is yes. So our number is divisible by six. The second example, um, 3000, 272 is divisible by 2. So we write divisible by 2. And is this divisible by 3? Let's check the sum of digits of this number. 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 2 is equal to 14. And 14 is not divisible by 3. That's why our number is not divisible by 3. That's why the answer is no. So our number is not divisible by 6. Because it's not divisible by 3. And we ha have to have, have to have the both um, 
divisibility by 2 and divisibility by 3. We don't have divisibility by 3. That's why our number is not divisible by 6. Further, let's talk about um, divisibility criteria for number 7. For number 7. It's formulated quite... Um, it has very hard formulation and that's why I will begin with examples um, for easy understanding. Examples. First example, 364. Um, I will write just is divisible by 7 because because um, here we take digits um, first digits 36 minus last di um, digits which are not the last digits and these digits uh, form a number 36. We write 36 minus 2 times last digit which is equal to 28 and we check is 28 is divisible by 7. In this case yes that's why the answer is yes and our initial number 364 is divisible by 7 because 36 number which is formed by um, digits that are not the last digit minus uh, last digit times 2 is equal to 27. Let's give another example for better understanding. Um, 294. Once again, we write 29 minus 2 times um, last digit and this is 21. 21 is divisible by 7. That's why an answer is yes. Our initial number 294 is divisible by 7. Uh, and last example is 163. We just take 16 minus 2 times 3 and it will be 10. 10 is not divisible by 7. That's why answer is no and 163 is not divisible by 7. Um, the proof of this result is quite technical, but anyway, I would like to give it. Assume we have number uh, to be more simple, we assume just three numbers, A, B, C. Um, and decimal representation of this number is A times 100 plus B times 10 plus C times 1. Uh, let's write 5 times ABC will be equal to 5 multiplied uh, to A times 100 plus B times 10 plus C times 1. <clears throat> and um, this is equal to 5 times A times 100 plus B times 10. And let's write our C to separately. It will be plus 5 times C. I'm using mathematical operations uh, with braces. I didn't 
um, explain you. I will explain it later, but anyway, I'm using it. And it will be let's write our last uh, row as 50 times a times 10 plus b plus b we moved um, we took out of our braces number 10 um, and plus 5c now we write our 15 times braces as 49 as 49 times our braces uh, plus 1 times our braces and 5c we write as 7c minus 2c each element of this sum if each element of this sum is divisible by 7 then our number is divisible by 7 uh, obviously this is divisible by 7 this is divisible by 7 because 7c is divisible by 7 and 49 times something is divisible by 7 because 49 is divisible by 7 and uh, everything depends on this on this let's rewrite our um, red denoted numbers a times 10 plus b minus 2c but our initial number was abc and this is decimal representation of number AB. AB has a decimal representation A times 10 plus B times 1. And this is minus 2C is minus 2 times last digit as we did earlier. So once again, if number formed by digits which are not last digit, the first, second, third uh, digit, but not last digit. In, in our example, this is AB. So if we have number 123, we look at number 12, the number which is formed by first digits and minus two times C. If uh, this number is divisible by seven, our initial number is divisible by 7. Um, it was the proof and let's further uh, look at divisibility criteria for 8. We also know divisibility criteria for 9 it was the same like 3 and the divisibility criteria for number 8 is if last if last three digits form form a number multiple multiple of eight this is the criteria. If last three digits form a number multiple of eight. In this case, if this is true, our number is divisible by eight. Uh, let's prove it. Assume we have number A, B, C, D, which is equal to A times 1000 plus B 
times 100 plus C times 10 plus D times 1. And of course, this element is divisible by 8 because 1000 is equal to 125 times 8. And if we had a bigger number, we had here also some uh, uh, digit A1, A2, A3, and so on. All of these digits uh, would give us a number and like this like this every numbers every digits um, every elements of the representation uh, would be divisible by eight so everything which is here is divisible by eight and if if this part is divisible by 8 then our number will be divisible by 8 but once again um, this is a decimal representation for number bcd bcd we write it 0 1 2 has a decimal representation b times 10 squared plus c times 10 plus d times 1 and this is exactly what we see here that's why if our number last three digits of our number last three digits of our number form a number multiple of 8 then our number is divisible by 8 Let's look at examples. 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 For example, number 48,168 is divisible by 8. Because because number formed by last three digits 168 which is is divisible by 8 obviously is divisible by 8 that's why our number is divisible by 8. The second example, let's have a number 5,783,160 is divisible by 8 because the number formed by last three digits 160 is divisible by 8 um, it was everything i wanted to uh, teach you for this tutorial thank you very much like us and subscribe to see new videos on open math camp